Another big part about creating games is adding some dialogue, adding some story, adding some emotion to what you want to create. So a really simple way to start doing this, for example, is just adding some text to your game. So what I'm going to show you here is have our Kodu say something after he eats the apple. So we're just going to head over to our Kodu by selecting our object tool again and moving to program him. And now when he bumps into this red apple, not only will he eat it, but he's also going to say something. So actions, say. This brings us to this screen. What we can do here is select text that the Kodu wants to say. So Kodu told me he really likes apples. So I'm going to say, I love apples. So now when the Kodu bumps into the apple, not only will he eat it, but he's also going to say, I love apples. So I'm going to save this. And let's see what happens. He just said, I love apples. So another more simple way of doing this, instead of copying your when function again, is just making your do happen. And the way to do this is we're going to go back and edit our Kodu. And as you can see, the two when for both of these lines, two and three, are the exact same. So we can simplify our code by cutting this beginning part and sliding line three in, making it happen right after line two occurs. Now, when we play our code, the same thing happens, and Kodu loves apples. 